Hey guys, welcome back for more Tales of Berseria. So we're gonna go to Mount Kilarouse and face off against the Legates. So let's begin, come on. Let's check this out, this exclamation point. <coughs> what is all this? <coughs> oh, calm down. It's just steam. Really? Oh, I get it. Mount Kilarouse is melting the bottom of the glacier. Of course, of course. The heat and the cold are engaged in a feudal war. Just like someone I know. Why not worry about the path you're taking? The path I'm taking? Oh, hot! Wait, beneath this ice... Is boiling hot water. How can you be so calm right now? One false step and we're poached! Probably. If you don't slip, you won't die. For the Reaper, you're certainly optimistic. <laughs> Where's that famous apathy of yours today, Mogilu? <laughs> Who cares about apathy? Especially when I got friends as depraved as you! Okay, let's head there. Chest. The sky. The snow. It's all red. So this is a scarlet night. Pretty strange, isn't it? It's amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not like I'm happy about it or anything. If you're worried about Luffy or Celica, you don't need to be. I was just wondering what makes the moon turn so red. They say the crimson moon is a gate to beyond, and is proof of humanity's sins. A sign of sin, huh? Maybe the moon drinks up the innocent blood spilled by the wicked. My, it would take a wicked mind indeed to come up with something like that! Please, don't say such frightening things! A scarlet night occurs whenever a full moon is in a certain position. The land and the moon pull at each other and Earth Pulse energy spills into the sky, turning it red. Yes, and the amount of power is said to create enough mana to affect even an Empyrean. So that's why the ritual is done on a Scarlet Night. But the world of humanity is violent, and the Earth Pulse is stained with all the blood spilled throughout history. So Rokuro's theory might have hit a little closer to the truth than expected. <laughs> oh, a wild guess hits the mark. Don't get used to it. It sure does look grim, though. Yeah. Okay, we got Topaz Fragment. This Scarlet Knight is uh, every three years, right? The first one was seven years ago, if I'm not wrong. Seven or ten years ago. Because when we started... I can feel a powerful okay, I don't remember. earth pulse flowing inside it. <laughs> it looks like we can reach the core from there. Yeah, but Velvet was in prison for three years. So I don't know. Maybe it's happening every three years, right? Okay. Wow, what is this? Ooh. Maybe if I, if I can upgrade it later. <laughs> but for now, no. Okay, watch out for the erupting volcano. All right, Velvet. I think it's time you let us in on your plan for how we escape if and when the volcano erupts. There is no plan. Oh, what? Then even if we awaken the elemental Empyreans, we're still toast! I'm not going to die. Well, I'm super happy for you, but what about the rest of us? I'm sure you'll all make it. You're being a bit blithe. I doubt there'll be an eruption at all. We'll only be using the volcano's life spring to push souls into the Earth Pulse. I don't think that should have much of an impact on the volcano's activity itself. Well, if you say so, that's a load off. Aye. But the ancients also say that when the four Empyreans awaken, there's a great shift in the Earth. If they're angry about being roused from their slumber, I don't think a volcanic eruption is something we can rule out. See? What did I tell you? Really, I'm sure we'll be fine. If the volcano erupts, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Velvet. <laughs> you look sure of yourself, but I'm still nervous. It may be best to write up a will. Aizen, do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, but I'm using them. <sighs> That's enough. You already know how this will turn out, right? Oh, so you figured that out. 
It wasn't hard. Besides, it's not like you have anyone to give a will to. Oof, way to cut to the quick. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was muted. So yeah, let's hope uh, Rokuro Sword doesn't break this time. It broke. Uh, we broke two swords already twice. Orichalcum, the hardest sword, it broke. The first one was uh, made by Kurogane as well. It broke. So this time... I mean, the first one was made from Kurogane, right? What sword did we get? Uh, where is it? This one. Yes, from his own body. Okay, we hope that does that doesn't break. He made one with his head last time and it broke. And the orichalcum, the hardest material, it broke as well. But not against us. It was not against Shigure when it broke. It was against Inominat. But this time we're ready. You fall asleep, we're leaving you. <laughs> Magilu. Yeah, so Magilu's master is Melchior and yeah, they have the same last name, Maven. So Maven is like a group or something because in this theory, right? The story the storyteller of time was named Maven as well. Maybe they're from the same group. Not blood relatives or anything. It is quite far. Just running around. I mean, there's no treasure anyways. Right? I can't wait to see the Imperians later. But right now we have only... There are four Imperians. We have two souls right now. We have Teresa and Oscar's soul. That we can put to wake up Imperians. And... That's why we're gonna face Shigure and Maven. Or Melchior, I mean. Is because we need their souls You'll as be well. facing Shigure soon. Yeah, not long now. I know this is a weird time to bring this up, Lafayette, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. All right. Ask away. I knew you'd say that. So, uh, how was your bath and Mercio? Huh? You, uh, you went in with Velvet, right? Just between us guys. What was it like? Well, what are you getting at, <laughs> Rogoro? Let me in on this, too. It'll be our secret. Oh, even Aizen wants to know. you too, Aizen! There's nothing to be ashamed of. There are just certain times in life when you need to find your resolve and seize the opportunity. We just want to know what your resolve got you. Right. It's like a test. Stop it! I didn't go into the bath with 
her. Now that's a shame. That might have been your one shot. Once you're all grown up, you won't be able to get away with it. That's why I didn't do it. I'm tired of Velvet treating me like a little kid. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> you passed the test. Right. You don't need me to watch over you anymore. Why did you laugh like that? We're just happy that you're growing up. I don't understand you two. If you're just gonna pick on me, go away. <laughs> We're sorry, but I really needed that. Laughter's good for the soul. Rokuro, were you feeling tense? You wouldn't think it, huh? But now I can fight like I always do. I owe you, Laffy Set. Yeah, don't worry about it. Looks like the next test is yours. Yeah. Laffy Set, Aizen, watch me prove myself. Yeah, we're gonna win this time. Rokuro. How do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginative type. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. Okay, we're outside now. It's the perfect place for a flanking attack. We don't need to worry about an ambush. Shigure is waiting for us ahead. Don't get careless! Dark and light! <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. Okay, how do we, um, what do you call this? I, I just want to check. Yes, this one. No, 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 Laffy says velvet. Her mystic arts. Yes, this one. LT during a hit, a eight hit or a higher combo. Break soul. You need to use break soul to connect them. Okay, he's gonna be standing right there. There he is. The the dude is sitting right there. Just waiting for us. Oh with this cat. What's the name of the cat again? Morgrim, right? Wow, really? He's really just waiting for us here? Rokuro? It's okay. Incredible! The old bastard forged himself into a sword! Indeed. That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell. Ah, oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, it's time. I mean, he's the enemy, but at least he has honor, right? Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. Oh yes, Armatus, I forgot about that. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! <laughs> Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up, I'm totally not. He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's for my training. At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. Can a human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Then join us. Let's Bobo. fight him together. Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair. You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got. I know. All too well. Okay, let's put a Rokuro in the party. All right, let's have some. F oh my! I don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time. Rocket style. Final judgment. Oh. <laughs> so you can handle my attacks now. This is where the fight truly begins, Shigure. What do you know? I totally agree. Oh. Weak to fire. See this? No mercy. Wounds that won't heal. Carve the flesh. No. I don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time. Target style. Final judgment. Countered every time. See this? See this? Not bad. Oh my I'm in your death. I was gonna use Rokuro's Mystic Arts, but I got countered. Impressive. Here we won. You people are really something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. Rokuro, he's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. 
He's Sigur Iran gets to after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. <laughs> Three of them. So this is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take... Storm Howl. One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Shigure, you were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Idiot. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius's stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. Huh? Okay, use the car. If you want to leave now, Rokuro. I won't stop you. Don't forget, my purpose here is to repay my debt to you. Yozakara and Mitsu. <sighs> What's the matter? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> okay? Is that all you have to say? What's wrong? You really are crying. You and Shigure. <laughs> Your brother is... but... Oh, that. It's really nothing to shed tears over. <laughs> How can you pretend it's not important? Don't tell me it's because you're a demon! You went and answered your own question. <laughs> so you will say it's because you're a demon? <laughs> no, that's not the answer, actually. It's not because I'm a demon. It's because we're swordsmen that I'm not sad. Huh? When we fought... When we both really fought, I got this sharp, vivid feeling that pierced straight to my core. When we were both throwing ourselves wholly into the battle, 
We wanted to keep on fighting forever, like an unquenchable thirst. That's a feeling we only got from each other. Lord Shigure did seem to be enjoying himself. I feel like I can understand it a little better now. <laughs> but I'll never comprehend it. That's for the better. If you did, you'd end up like us. <laughs> Probably so. I wonder when I'll be able to have a match like that again. You won't have to worry about that. Hmm? Huh? Just as you work so hard to defeat Lord Shigure, another swordsman will do the same to defeat you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Your positivity reminds me of him. Now I'm suddenly craving a cup of Yozakura Anmitsu. Yozakura Anmitsu? Cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste, black sesame ice cream and fruit. It was Shigure's favorite. Hmm. That's kind of hard to picture, but I'd like to try it. Let's settle then. When this is all over, I'll take you out for some. I look forward to that. Then make sure you come back alive, all right? You too, Rokuro. Yozakura Anmitsu. I won't forget. Yozakura Anmitsu. Okay, let's talk to Morgru. You should get out of here while you still have the chance. If things get hairy, I'll run. But please, let me stay here a little longer. I owe Shigure for giving me back my free will. And he always did hate to be alone. I never knew that. You didn't? Weren't you his brother? We never had time to think about anything other than our training. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any insult. He lived and he died according to his own beliefs. That has to be good enough. Humans like that are not so bad. I suppose we aren't. You're a funny sort of Moloch, aren't you? Thanks for the compliment. Oh, can check this. Rokuro, you said something to him at the end. To Shigure? Yeah. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but... I don't mind. It was just something that happened long ago. The story about Shigure plotting to overthrow our lord. That was a lie. A lie that I spread. But why... I wanted a just cause to strike him down. Storm Howl, Shigure's name, the leadership of the clan. I used to want all of that for myself. Do you regret it? Not at all. Besides, Shigure figured it out a long time ago. But really, I don't know what made me think I had the strength to defeat him back then. He was... Truly strong. Of course he was. He was the head of the Rangetsu family. The strongest warriors in all the land. Rokuro, does this make you head of the clan now? No. I'm a demon. And more importantly, all I ever wanted was to beat my brother. That's enough for me. So the Rangetsu clan is no more. Like, whatever happened to Rokuro, right? In this year, there was no mention of any Rangetsu. Let us see in the end. It's scorching! No, it's torrid! Wait, no! It's hot! Can you please stop making a fuss? Anyone who can keep their cool inside a volcano needs their head examined! I can feel the power of the Earth Pulse flowing upward. This is the Life Spring. That's odd. Melchior isn't here. Have you devoured even Shigure, Lord of Calamity? But remember... The only exorcists whose souls are worthy of sacrifice are Shigure, Oscar, Teresa, and me! He's above us, at the volcano's peak. With three souls, you can only awaken three Empyreans! That won't be enough to seal Inominad's power! If you are missing even one, awakening them will cause this volcano to explode, with you inside it. If you seek to awaken all four elemental Empyreans, then come 
Try and take my soul from me! What do you think, Mogilu? Trap. Melchior's greatest strength lies in his power over ice. I only wish we could lure him down here. But we dare not forget. He's an exorcist who spent years plotting to awaken a Nominat. Exactly. He could be capable of anything. It'd be dangerous to assume otherwise. Maybe this is the wrong time, but Mogulu, you're related to Melchior, right? You'd better believe it's the wrong time. Long ago, I was Magilanika Lu Maven, Melchior's foster daughter, and before I was cast out, his disciple. A foster Magilanica. daughter. <gasps> the, the lost legate. So even after 10 years, my name still lives on. How old is Magilu? I'm impressed. You must have commanded a lot of respect. Not in the least. The relationship between Melchior and I was like that between Velvet and Artorias. The debts owed, and the grudges held. Velvet, you don't have to believe me. You may never believe me. But I tell you now, I want to settle my- I don't much care about the affairs of a witch, now do I? I'm going to the peak to find him. Just doing what I want, like always. Yep, that's right. And I'm going with you, like always. Okay, it's freezing, it's scorching. Piece of cake, it's a cinch, piece of cinch. It's scorching, it's freezing, it's scorching. What are you muttering about? You told me to chill out when I complained about the heat. Is that still bothering you? I heat up quickly and cool down slowly. I'm not bothering anyone, so go on, get lost! That's even more annoying. I mean, come on, if it's both hot and cold, it's not scorzing. It's freezing, clearly. That doesn't sound like me at all. Wait, that's not even my point! My skin feels like a frozen shell, but somehow my insides are boiling! This is miserable! It should be one or the other. I can't stand this fence-sitting! Oh? Well, so what about the pineapple and sweet and sour pork? Gross! A sweet omelette? The crime against nature. Chocolate-covered raisins? Whoever thought of dried grapes should be hanged! Well then, what about peach pie? I don't see what you're getting at! What about yourself? Utterly vile. Doesn't that make you a fence-sitter? That's why I'm having you eat that old man and shove him into the life spring. I hope you learn to like yourself. <sighs> don't try to embarrass me. Okay, I don't want to fight the code red anymore. Like, we're near the end now anyways, right? So let's just skip it. Let's just go straight to Melchior. You're not hurt, are you? We got Matrol doll. Can we finally upgrade this? The thing is with Gradient doll, it has art attack up. That's why I use it. That's why I don't want to change it, I mean. I mean, Magilu is an art user. Why do they keep giving her items with attacks that... Like, she barely uses her attack. We just need one last soul to awaken the elemental Empyreans. Are you alright, Velvet? I'll eat Melchior, and our collection will be complete. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about you. Yeah, why is her voice you like that? You collapsed after the thing with Teresa and Oscar, remember? Ah, <sighs> you wonder if I'm fine after eating Shigure. It's not a problem. But 
wasn't Shigure a lot more powerful than they were? But look at me. I'm fine, right? Does it seem like I'm faking it? No. Yes. I think I'm just used to it. Both my body and mind. You're not just used to it. You've changed. Mm hmm? Just as I changed after finding my free will, you've gotten stronger through our travels, too. You faced down many sorrows and hardships and overcame them all. Did I, though? You did. And that's why I... Ah! I'll make you a quiche later. Could you make pudding, too? Sure. But are you just trying to butter me up so I'll cook for you? Well, I mean... Uh, yeah. How did you know? You really have grown a lot, haven't you? All right, let's go and find me some Melchior to eat. Yeah! Melchior quiche? Okay, I see the save. It's at the bottom. Melchior is for sure gonna use his armatization. That's a hundred percent. Like, uh, seriously though, right? In this game, like normal, I mean normal exorcist, they can use armatization. In this era, it's pretty much just Saray, right? And Rose. But before we, when we saw in this area, there were, uh, what do you call this? The flashbacks, right? There were a lot of Sarah, I mean, not Seraphs, uh, Shepherds, yes, there were a lot of Shepherds back then, and within time, yeah, it became like one at a time only. When it was Ray, it was the only one. Then there was also Michael. Yeah, Michael was the one, the, the I'm Shepherd. I'm not sure what Saray. Melchior is really capable of. What kind of man is he? To put it short, he's the exorcist's shadow. Their shadow? They're supposed to be free of malevolence, but they're only human, and so are those who they want to save. But sincerity and conviction alone won't save the world. To remain free of malevolence, they need someone to do their dirty work. A shadow. I see. And that's Melchior's job. During all my time at the Abbey, I was never aware of what he was really doing. So, why hasn't he succumbed to malevolence? Because his belief in the exorcists as the saviors of the world is pure and unyielding. It is a mountain of ice that will neither boil, nor melt, nor break. I know the depths of his frozen heart all too well. Uh, wait! Does that mean you...? Yes. Melchior was raising me to be the shadow for the next leader of the exorcists. Artorius himself. But that was a terrible mistake. I was unable to live up to his expectations. So if things had gone as he planned, we'd be fighting you instead of Melchior. I'm glad that didn't have to happen. True. If Mogulu was running the Abbey... They would be completely <laughs> unpredictable. That would be fearsome. Maybe. But doesn't that sound like a whole lot of fun? So Melchior was my shadow too. Oh, feeling too sympathetic to fight him. I wouldn't say that. There's nothing to be sad about. Removing shadows is part of a shadow's job. Even if I'm a failed shadow, I'm still a witch and I cast a deeper darkness. Okay. Yeah, so I was, I was saying, yes. Like here, because a lot of people can see Moloch's or Seraph's, yes. They can armatize pretty much everyone, but it is not perfect. Like, they will die if they armatize. I can see the peak just ahead. If Melchior's anywhere, he's there. Be careful. That crafty old buzzard is nothing like Shigure. He won't fight us head on. Okay, odds of victory. Is victory for us really possible? We're facing the legate, Lord Melchior. I'd give us around four to one against. Four to one? Are our chances that slim? Almost every trick I or any current exorcist knows can be traced back to him. If I throw out three arts at once, he'll pull six out of his hat. He knows our capabilities and he's got far more power. Four to one might be generous. I suppose you're right. However, 
We have Velvet, the boy, and Rokuro. Who knows what value they'll add when they run amok? It's impossible to calculate, but if luck goes our way, our chances will rise considerably. Right. We are challenging the hardest possible foe. But I'm only talking about a straight-up fight, knowing Melky or he'll have some nasty tricks. No matter how you analyze it, the outlook is grim. Aizen, you too? What's wrong with a level-headed look at things? Careful consideration could give us the tool we need to turn the odds in our favor. After all, Magilu, forewarned is forearmed, right? Yes, that's true. Even still, we won't find a weakness in him. Let's take another hard look. What we need might be lying right at our feet. At our feet, eh? I'll keep my eyes on the ground as we walk, then. Okay, hopefully we can get some soul bottles before the battle. I need even one. Even one is good. Just give me something. Matril Talisman. Maybe Magilu can counter Melky or like Aroko did with Shigure, right? Okay, let's just go straight to she uh, to Melkior. <laughs> I was gonna say she Are we ready for this? No escape! Guys, do not use your mystic arts, please! You won't get away! Vanishing Thunder! Try as they might, it won't change anything. So puzzled. I mean, Mitril is stronger though. It's nearly time. Oh wait. Um, let me use my red stuff. Chamomile? Saffron, rosemary, lavender, sage. Okay, let's go. The four elemental Empyreans are the beings that maintain the balance and harmony between Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. Have you even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Not really. I don't much care. They sleep because of arrogant, insolent wretches like you. The Empyreans derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Empyreans drifted into slumber. 
Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malakim. Are you trying to say Inominat blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Imperion, Inominat's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Imperians can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes, civilization will crumble. The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. Thus, the Abbey will control Illuminat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era. It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Inominat. And, in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot exist without darkness, no great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! Armatus! No, you don't! Aizen, stop! <sighs> I told you. He's a crafty old buzzard. Hmm. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. He looks taller now. Yeah, he looks taller and slimmer. Fools. He'll fall and so far. He weak to win. Magilonica no longer! I am the evil witch! Magilu! No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Carve the flesh! Make them pay! Shatter the spirit! Oh god, hit! He's down! Attack! Do I have... No, I don't have any souls. Yes! Shatter the spirits! I mean that attack from Magilu? Yes. Yes, it's on her mystic arts only. Right? Her art attack is the one she uses, like, every time, look. Yeah, it only benefits her mystic arts. Okay, no, no, no. I thought this was the old or soul, I mean. Beat them up! Push me this far! 
No mercy! Wounds that won't heal. Fight in the flesh! Lethal pain! Slow down! Down! Take that! Invalor! He's weak, no! Imprisoned by the cold of cold, there you shall perish! Absolute freedom! I... That was so unlucky. We were on that side. <laughs> okay, get it. What are you? Yes. Frozen blade, bring down! Power! Life is mine! Finish! Frozen blade, bring down! to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Centuries? Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it bought me enough time to finish my art. Are you trying to set off the volcano? You'll die too! As long as I take the Lord of Calamity with me, I have no regrets. That's because... I follow reason! Emotions are a real pain, aren't they?
Kopf. What was that? The elemental Empyreans have awoken. We are free. We will no longer be your tools. Oh dear, what's happening? We won. Okay, Divine Saber. You saved us, Mogulu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs. Nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. I take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. That's all there was to it. I suppose even a legate can never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Have the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth Pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Eleanor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah! Okay, no eruption so far. The mountain doesn't appear to be erupting. Or doing anything else, really. I'd say that's a relief. Were Melchior's claims only a bluff? I'm not convinced. Most of his threats had as much truth in them as he could muster. With the four Empyreans revived, the land is awakened. Changes in the Earth that once took eons will now happen in a few hundred years. A few hundred years? The mountain will erupt, but not for a long while. A long while to a human, maybe. But compared to the history of the land... It'll be a blink of an eye. But Inominat is the Empyrean of Suppression. Who can say what will happen when we kill him? <gasps> well, it's not like I care anyway. I think we should care. Okay, Avenging Eifried. Melchior sure was strong, wasn't he? Yeah. If it weren't for Mogilu's help, we wouldn't have stood a chance. But you saw the opening she gave us and took it. Did you want to be the one to finish him off? If it mattered to me, I'd have fought him alone. We all had our reasons to fight him. The opportunity just happened to be yours. That's all there is to it. I understand. 
If Melchior had only manipulated Eifried for personal reasons, then that would be settled now. But he was acting based on his idea of reason, that creating a world without malevolence was worth the cost of destroying people's free will. Eifried won't be avenged until I destroy that very philosophy. Your business with the Abbey isn't done. Not even close. You all could just sit around twiddling your thumbs, and I'd still take the heads of Artorius and Enominat on my own. If you want to be the ones to finish them off, you'll have to beat me to it. <laughs> You're on. I'll fight with everything I've got. That's all I can do. That's plenty. Are you hungry? I really don't mean to pry, but I've got to know. Does it feel good to pinch all those souls out from your stomach? That's kind of a gross way of putting it. I have to agree with Velvet. The way you put it sounds so... inappropriate. I'm pretty sure that was her point. Oh, I'm sorry. Why so cranky? I was only asking to see if you were getting hungry or not. Then ask that in the first place. Are you? Hungry, that is. I do feel hungry, now that you mention it. But I don't think it has to do with losing those souls. Then why is it? Maybe my appetite is increasing as Inominat's suppression weakens. Yeah, I'm suddenly feeling hungry myself. My stomach could start growling at any moment. I have been thinking of nothing but delicious things to eat for a while now. I bet Mogilu only brought it up because she's feeling peckish herself. No, no, that's not the reason at all. That settles it then. When we get back to the ship, you can take guard duty while we eat. I'll make a quiche and pudding. I'll cook up some penguin and tomato stew. Ooh, I'd love to try your cooking, Madame Eleanor. Let's get back to the ship. <laughs> Getting all fired up about food, I would never... I would kill for a big bowl of sweet collegian style borscht! Then go find me some peaches. Why peaches? Because you can't have collegian borscht without peach pie for dessert. Okay, go to the Imperian Throne in Midgand. Oh, there are a lot of people now here. Dial. <laughs> Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Velvet. I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We could certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Helleviz, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Helleviz as a Class IV administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercio? Everyone got out safe and sound, although they did petition for the extermination of the Lord of Calamity. Of course. I say we make this town our new hideout. When else are we ever gonna find a hideout that comes with hot springs? That's a good idea. We should leave Kamoana and the others here. Dial, could you stay and help them out? <laughs> As if you even had to ask. Well, that's surprisingly reliable for you, Dial. Hey, that hurts. Now get going already. Benwick and the crew are making preparations in Helleviz right now. Hey, Rokuro, how'd the showdown with your brother turn out? I killed him. But I couldn't break Stormhowl. Is that because Stormhowl was an even stronger sword than Kuragane's? No. Even with Shigure's full strength behind it, Stormhowl didn't even leave a nick in Kurogane's blade. If I didn't have this sword, I'd be dead now. I think I just couldn't break Stormhowl because I'm still too inexperienced. But you won the match, didn't you? Yeah, but only by combining my techniques with Kurogane's craftsmanship. If that's the case, then as long as you're wielding it, that sword is Stormquell. After all, Kurogane's sword did quell the God Blade's raging storm. Do you think Kurogane would agree? Are you kidding? You know how stubborn that guy is. He'd just say he'd forge something even stronger the next time. And that's why I say you shouldn't be satisfied with how you are either, Rokuro. I know. I'll find even stronger opponents to cut down. By my hand, Kurogane's Storm Quell will become even more legendary than Storm Howl ever was. That's the spirit! Show him what we demons can do! Can we teleport to Heloise? Okay. Yeah!
you there, exorcist! Do you know what happened to the Praetor, Lady Teresa? She used to be in charge here. Um... Lady Teresa is the only one who can restore law and order in our town. Please, send a message to the Abbey. Tell them that the citizens of Helavis are awaiting her return. Even if the Lord of Calamity herself were to attack, I won't budge until Lady Teresa returns to us. What will refusing to move accomplish? If my life is in danger, I know Lady Teresa will come to save me. Her, in that ice-cold glare of hers. Teresa won't be coming back. What? If you really love Teresa, you shouldn't rely on her to protect you. You should become strong enough to protect her. Whoa, that burning glare of yours. I think I like it. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, so let's check this out. Let's check. Let's go to the port after. He doesn't like Teresa now. He likes Eleanor. We're planning evacuation routes. We need to be ready if the Calamity or demons show up in town. When the Calamity attacked the first time, there was massive confusion. Some children got hurt in all the madness. We're preparing evacuation boats so that we can all flee out to the sea if anything happens. It's a good idea, but it will be hard to evacuate the entire town by boat. You'd best prepare a land route, too. That's a good point. But wouldn't a land route run the risk of being attacked by demons? Yes. You'll need to guard it as heavily as you do the city gates. It would be best if you could devise a way to prevent demons from intercepting the escape route, but... Hmm. Some of the exorcists lost use of their malachim. We can't count on the Abbey's garrison to help us. I'll send a request for aid to the Abbey. But please, don't give up. Try to think of something. Of course. There's no way we'll give up. You can't rely on someone else to protect you. Can you really ask the Abbey for help? I can send a Sylph Jade to some of my old friends from when I was still in training. Even if they refuse to trust a traitor like me, they won't ignore the plight of the people here in Helavis. How long are you going to sit there crying? You can't be a fisherman if you're afraid of some lord of calamity. The demons that wrecked this town are still alive. Who knows when they'll show up again? How about right now? Sniveling idiot! Keep whining like that, and this calamity whatever will keep walking all over you! But what can we do? We can't even defeat a single demon. That's why we take our boats, catch some fish, and make sure we've got enough food to keep on surviving. Didn't they drill anything into that fool head of yours in school? Ugh. Do I have to knock some sense into you? Get up and get the boat ready! That is one hot-headed dad. Too hot for any demons to get near. That's for sure. Where's my crew, by the way? Okay, Benwick is right here. Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes, but that still leaves Enominot and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple? It's a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. A fortune apple! Hmm. <laughs> but we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, oh, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. My power to consume is a part of Enominot. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way. That's a good luck charm. That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So... Where's our final destination? The Empyrean's Throne. 
Sail for Port Zexon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, what Just has don't changed? Need them. Got it? I won't. Don't worry. Do you think that with Inominot's power waning, people will be free again? Well, the pirates are acting like pirates again. May take longer for others, but I think it's happening. What do you think of traveling around to see for ourselves? I'd like to know what's going on out there. I'd like to meet the Elemental Empyreans, if I could. That's not a great idea. They're all in various Earth Pulse points, but where those are is a mystery. They could be very far off, and they might not view us as allies. Yep, gods live by their own rules. Our business with Inominot probably doesn't concern them. You're right. It might be wise to scope out the situation before our battle. As we go around, we might find out more about what Artorius is up to. Hey, Rokoro! I heard about a Class 4 island that sounds damn near perfect for you. An island that's perfect for me? Do the rivers flow with good drink? Now that you mention it. But no, different island. I'm talking about you as a swordsman. The demons there all run around the island in suits of armor and helmets and stuff, I hear. Armored demons are not unusual. Yeah, but what I heard tell was that all the exorcists who got sent there came back with their swords broken. I don't know if they've got swords too or if their armor is just that strong, but I reckon your sword will be able to stand up to them. Well then, I've heard worse ideas. If you believe the tales, that island used to be a place where swordsmen and knights competed to see who was stronger. Oh yeah, I know the island you're talking about. Craftsmen from all over gave their finest weapons and armor to the greatest of warriors and made them fight. It was as much a showcase for those wares as it was a contest of strength. So the demons on that island might come at us wielding fine arms and armor. I'm certainly up for checking it out. I'm curious to see how good the stuff really is. After all I've told you, you still want to go? What is wrong with you? Okay, new class 4 island. So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Where's Luffy set? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Luffy always yearned to travel. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy said. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominot is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No. Theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. 
My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the Shepherd. Facing reality. You know Minot's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. <sighs> Are you crying? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work. But I don't mind having you around. <laughs> yes. I'm not weak like I used to be. No. You aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that. But then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Brokuro, thank you so much. You realize you just thanked a demon, right? I'm aware of that. Chatterista. Okay, let's just talk to these guys. All we this... put all our faith in you because you said you could protect us. We endured all your harsh rules and laws. So how can you tell us you can't defeat the demons because you can't control Malakim anymore? We don't understand why we've lost the ability to control our Malakim. But even without my Malak arts, I will fight to my dying breath to protect all of you. So please, calm down. Huh. I'm not listening to anything the Abbey says anymore. What are you looking at? Yeah, you there. Mean looking guy. Get over here. I think I'll pass. Thanks. Hey! Muscles! Get back here! I'm not through with you! Please stop. I understand that you're worried and upset, but now isn't the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. Please, let us all stand together. Help us fight off the madness and the demons that threaten our world. <sighs> and if that's not good enough for you, you can face me instead. Guess I'm sorry. That exorcist has some serious backbone. Aye. Hey, it's you! Uh, Mogilu's debauchery! It's Menagerie. <laughs> I finally get a chance to see the famous Mogilu's Menagerie! I've been waiting forever to meet up with you again! Meet up with us? Why? Well, with my bad luck, I've always just missed out on seeing your splendiferous performances. So, well, I made my own Menagerie! The Abbey is a mess, and people everywhere are scared. Demons abound, and... Well, everyone's so gloomy. So I thought that this is exactly the time when people need something fun and happy to lift their spirits. My troop is still in training, but we're almost ready. That's wonderful. What do you call yourselves? I wanted something with power, impact. So behold, we are the Dark Wings. Dark Wings. The Dark Wings. Huh. Hey, what gives? That's a terrible reaction. Is it You're that, trying to that cheer people up, it? right? So why dark? And dark wings only make me picture crows. Or bats, maybe. Really? When I think of the dark wings, I think comedy. Hmm. Maybe I should rethink this. Oh, I got it! We'll be the dark smiles! Hmm. Sounds like you've got a pretty dark sense of humor. You really want to go with such a dark-hearted name? Okay, fine. The dark magic. No, the dark circus! No, no, that's no good. The darkest hour! The dark... Maybe you could try losing the dark part. Hmm, good point. All right, then. How about this one? The Peddlers of Joy! We don't accept solicitations. <sighs> fine, fine, forget you. I've made my decision. We're Darkwing Menagerie of Comedy, and that's final! 
He really went all out. Still, you've got Zing, kid. Here's hoping you have many dark years to come. Magic Kazam! Thanks! That makes us rivals now, but still, from one entertainer to another, good luck. About that Magic Kazam of yours? You only use that spell when you couldn't care less what happens, right? What this world needs now is a good dose of apathy. Am I right? But here's hoping you have many dark years to come. That's not very nice at all, is it? Magic Kazam! Okay, let's talk to these, to that guy, or yeah, near the end, for last one. I can't get my hands on nectar or a good drink anymore, but thanks to that, I've finally seen the light. I tried drinking lots of different things to help cope with my cravings, and I discovered that a nice cup of tea really does the trick. You can't give kids the heavy stuff, but tea? Kids, adults, the elderly? Everyone can enjoy it. That's a good positive point of view. I'm thinking about using my life savings to open a tea shop filled with tea from all over the world. Rather than let ourselves get all worked up panicking over the demons, we'd be better off sitting down with a nice cup of relaxing tea. It'd be wonderful if you sold some tasty pies or cookies there too. I know, right? I need to find some baked goods that go well with tea. Maybe I can find a girlfriend while I'm at it. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Speaking of which, are you single? Sorry, I think I'll pass. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> figured as much. Okay, so in the next one, I think I'm gonna do like some optional content first before we do a final episode and go to the Empyrean Throne. Just like last time in Zestir, right? We did one episode of optional content, then after that, we finished the game. So yeah, I'm just gonna see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.